The new Artist Acrylic Mediums from Winsor Newton are a great complement to the Artist Acrylic color range because they have the same cutting edge clear resin in them so that you have no color shift. And it's a pretty concise range as well. Didn't want to have too many mediums that get confusing. So we've got primers over here. You can see I have white gesso on the board here. Goes on very fluid and opaque. Also got clear gesso. I have a swatch of clear gesso I put here that's already dry. So you can see that you can see your substrate or your surface through. Might be something nice if you were working on a wood panel and you wanted to see the grain come through. And I also have some that I just brushed out here. So you can see that it goes on sort of milky, but it will dry clear. I've also got fluid mediums and gel mediums. Remember that mediums are going to change either the sheen, they're going to make something more glossy or more matte, thicker or thinner. So the fluid mediums, both matte and gloss, you can see go on here, very, very fluid. I can really thin out my paint and get it to flow really, really far. And then I have that in matte and in gloss, depending on what sheen I want to have. And then I also have gels, a matte gel and a gloss gel. This one here is gloss. And you can notice that when this goes on, very, very thick, very thick. The uh, color, artist acrylic color, has a bit of a heavy body to it. But if I want to extend that and I want thick impasto brush marks, you can see how that just kind of clings to my brush right there. And I can make very, very big, thick textural marks in there. And if I want even more texture, I like the modeling paste. This is kind of fun. You can take this really, really thick, and it holds these great peaks. It's very flexible. I can even sand it. I can even carve it, which is kind of neat. If I want to put this down and let it dry, I can put color on top of it, or I can mix color into this. And all these are fully intermixable, so you can do all sorts of customized effects with them. So that's a really neat one. I like that a lot. Over here, we also have slow dry medium. Now, if you want to get your paint to be a little bit more slow drying, like an oil paint for instance, you can add this to a one-to-one -one ratio to your paint. And it doesn't have an acrylic binder in it. So you want to make sure that you don't go over that one-to-one -one ratio. And it'll slow down the drying rate by 50%. Give you a lot of time to blend. And over here, let's say you want to do the opposite. You want to make your acrylic paint more like watercolor. This is really nice. The Flow Improver, you add 10% of that, no more than 10% because it also doesn't have a binder to water and then use that as your medium, get it to really flow beautifully like watercolor. So that's a great versatility of acrylics. And then over here we have varnishes. We've got a matte varnish, a satin varnish, and a gloss varnish. Depending on what sheen you want, what you like for your paintings, you want to protect them from dirt, dust, surface abrasion, and things like that. And let's say the painting does get a nick in it or something later on, got a varnish remover as well. So you can take that off and re-varnish. And then the back of the labels, important. Check out the back of the labels. Check out your paint labels. Lots of good information. Let you know whether the medium or the varnish is opaque, transparent, gloss or matte, fast dry, slow dry, thick or thin. And then finally our brushes. Artist acrylic brushes, black and white. Just like the tube colors, just like the mediums and varnishes. That way with this wide variety of things that you want to purchase for making paintings, across all of this, you can tie it in with the colors. It's a synthetic brush, but sturdy enough to be able to handle the heavy gels and the heavy body paint that you have with Artist Acrylic.